Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL payroll system training, I'll talk about import pending payroll. I'll take allowance as an example. So let's go to SQL payroll. In SQL payroll, you can go to payroll open pending. As I always say, anything that is not in your basic pay will be in open pending. Okay, example, allowance, OT, bonus, and so on. Now, if you have a time management system, then you can use the time management system to integrate with SQL for the overtime and so on. But in time management system, there won't be any allowance. So what if I have 100 staff and instead key in the open pending for individual staff one by one in SQL, actually you can do it in Excel and import. How to do that? Just go to allowance and you can see the last icon over here is import data click on it data from click this three dot button and look for the file example this file remember it must be a csv file but normally i think you will use excel right no problem after you key in excel just save as a csv file will do now if you are this is the first time you do this import then you need to click new setting then what you do next then you can see that we will already retrieve the information from the csv file and if you want to ask what is the excel format now this is the excel format so for the first time you should create a template okay let's say i call it allowance import example okay then at individual column click on the filter then look for the respective field this is the post date then we have employee this is the employee code then this is the code that means the allowance code then we have the description work unit for allowance normally is one then what is the rate then this is the amount okay when you have this import from row one you don't want because the first row is actually the column title so we import from row two let's save this okay then what you do finish done as you can see impending allowance is directly import so you do not require to key in manually one by one if you want to do second time so do the same thing then this time you can load the setting import data next then you can see the column title already preset for you because you already set okay so this is preset then next finish okay then just finish then it will import for you so this is how easy for you to import pending payroll into SQL payroll system. Now, if you're interested in SQL accounting or payroll system, or you just want to sign the yearly maintenance with us, please feel free to contact us directly. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.